So we had a question from Dominic, and Dominic wanted to know, what's it like going through customs? And I'll be honest, Dominic, I've had this question a lot. This has actually kept some people from traveling abroad because they're so scared because they don't know what it's like going through customs and passport control. And are they going to strip search me? And I'm, I'm going to have to know everywhere I lived my entire life. What's going on? Are they worse than the IRS searching for stuff? I don't know what to expect. Look, it's okay. Take a breath. You should never let worrying going through passport control or customs keep you from traveling. Now, the kind of general overall usual going through custom experience when you fly into a country goes like this. You land in the country you're going to. So I landed here in London, right? So I got off my plane and what you're going to do is you're going to look for the sign that says passport control or it's going to say like UK customs or US customs. It's going to be something like that and you're going to follow the lines and it's always like a 20 minute walk. I don't know why, but it's always like a 20 minute walk to get where the customs people are. And when you get there, you're going to see a huge line like a huge line. This takes a while. So if you've got like close connections when you're traveling internationally, you're going to need to give yourself probably a couple hours, not like half hour in between because if you're going to have to go through customs, it can take quite a bit of time. But anyway, you're going to get to where those lines are and you're going to look and it's going to say, you know, if you're flying into the U.S., it'll say, oh, U.S. citizens and residents here and non-U.S. citizen residents go over there. Coming into the European Union, it'll say EU residents over here, non-EU, every all other passports over there. Coming to the UK, it's like UK, US, Canada, Europe go this way, everybody else go that way. So you're going to divide there, okay? When you go and you get up to the customs officer, which will be after like a half hour waiting in line, or like if you're in Paris, it might be an hour. I mean, it, it just takes time to go through. Uh, some places will actually have you fill out a form where you fill out where you're gonna stay, what's your occupation, you know, passport number, did you bring anything? Some of them actually have paper forms. Other places, like you fly into the US, you might have a digital form you fill out. So there could be that. Other places, there are no forms. You just like walk up and you know give them a passport. And when you go up and you get up, like if you're going to the US, they have actual people that are there. You give them a passport and they might ask you a few questions. You know, how long are you gonna stay in the US? What are you gonna be doing here? How much money do you have to be with you? Where are you gonna be staying? You know, what do you do for you know a living? So they'll ask you these kind of questions, okay? Now, they don't always do it. Depending where you're from, sometimes they just look at your passport, stamp it and say, bye, thank you, have a nice time. Other times they ask more. I know one time I was going through customs through the UK, and they asked, oh, so what do you come to the UK for? It's like, well, I'm flying through here because I'm doing my master's in Germany in economics. And the guy actually started to ask me, so tell me what Keynesian economics is. Who was Adam Smith? So sometimes they do ask these questions to make sure you're legit. Okay, now, a lot of times they don't ask a lot of questions. However, if they're thinking that you might be trying to, you know, um, you know, come to the country and stay longer than you're supposed to, and they're not sure if you can support yourself, they might ask you more questions. But if you're a normal tourist coming through, your, problem, your questions are going to probably be, how long are you going to be here? What are you here for? Where are you going to go? Okay, have a good day. So what should you have, like, know or have written down or have ready when you're going to go through customs? One, your passport. Have your passport there. You're going to need that. So don't put it away in your bag. Have it ready for them. Two, know that you might need to tell them where you're going to be. So have that address for your first hotel you're going to stay in. That's all they're going to need. Have something like that. And then third, have a deep breath. It's okay. They ask questions to people all the time. And when they do ask you questions and you're not sure, just be open with them. Tell them the truth. You know, if you don't understand them, say, could you please repeat that? Because I know sometimes people get so flustered when they get up to the customs and passport control, they forget, what am I here for? What am I doing? And that kind of can be a bit like worrisome. Okay. So in general, though, it is a very simple process, okay? You literally just walk up and you hand them a the passport, they stamp it and you're on your way. And then after you get your passport, depending where you're traveling to, like if you're traveling to the US and you have a connecting flight, you have to get your bags and then re-give your bags to the airlines so they can kind of continue it on. If you're flying to Europe, well, you don't have to get your bags until you get to your final destination. So that can be a little bit different, all right? But in general, going through customs, going through passport control is very simple, it's very straightforward, it just takes a lot of time, okay? Those lines can be a bit crazy sometimes. But don't worry, just have your passport ready and a smile and be ready to answer their questions and you'll be okay. So Dominic, I hope this helps you know what you need to know before you go through customs control or passport control and customs. If you wanna know more, check out our website at waltzworld.com. We got all kinds of videos to help you travel the world. Bye from here in York, England.